we can't have a system where if you win, it's a legitimate election, and if you lose, someone stole it. That is not how we can move forward in the United States. This is an, a, a, an essential country, right? And I've said it all throughout the campaign. This is a country built on freedom. This is the essential nation versus China and Russia, countries that don't have freedom of speech, freedom of the press. They have ethnic cleansing. They, they put their political opponents in prison. And I am concerned that this country, as we move forward, it may get worse before it gets better. But we need good people who are going to honor the institutions of this country that have brought us to this point. And we have an idea and we, an understanding that the one thing we know for sure, the one thing we know for sure is that our kids and our grandkids are going to live together. We're going to live together. We know that. And the question is, what kind of country are they going to live in? Right? Are they going to live in a country where they're being forced to hate each other? Or are we going to give them a country where we can have honest disagreements, where we can respect each other, even though we may come to different conclusions? That's really what's at stake here. And when I talked about the exhausted majority, I meant it. Democrats and Republicans and independents, good-hearted people, have to fight the extremist movement happening in this country. And that's what the call is for all of us. The highest title in this country is not president. It's not vice president. It's not senator. It's not congressman. It's not doctor or lawyer or quarterback. <laughs> the highest title in this land is citizen. And we have an obligation to be good citizens.